at every day like an hour into the game where we were playing the, the ice cream truck would come by would come by so there was always for like 10 to 15 minutes you would hear the ice cream you would hear this ice cream truck and and that music um non-stop so it was kind of distracting oh i guess i didn't make a move quick enough Let's You know, War Zombie for the 10 months. I think it's War Zombie. Okay, so what am I not going to play? I, okay, I'm not going to play the Owens defense. I'm not going to play this. This is just a bad opening. It's just no good. Um, if I play the Owens defense, uh, I, I, I will gift you guys more subs, I think, than then 500. Oh, I'm 666. Yes, nice rating. Let's just take the pawn here. Am I not tired of replying to chat? I mean, chat is what makes it worth it, you guys. So, no. Um, This is why you play the Owens defense. You create the long diagonal for the bishop. All right, what am I going to play? Um, Is C3 an opening? Let's play the Saragossa. Let's play the Saragossa opening. Uh, don't ask me what that's supposed to mean, but it means something. Okay, let's go, um, is this, let's play G3 here, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what Saragossa is. I mean, isn't Saragossa the city in Italy or something? Go D4. No, not Zaragoza, Saragossa. S-A-R-A-G-O-S-A. Isn't that Syracuse and, isn't, isn't S-A-R-A-G-O-S-S-A like Syracuse and, um, in Italian or something? Or am I wrong? Let's take and take on E4. Oh, no, that's, that's uh, S-I-R-A-C-U-S-A. Never mind, different one. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking of Syracuse, but Syracuse is a different uh, different city. Let's go E3 B3. No, I'm thinking of Syracuse, the city in um in uh, Sicily, which is uh, where who's it was Archimedes was from there. I think that's where Archimedes was from. Let's go here. Trap the knight on B2. I haven't done World Chessel or anything. I'll probably get to that pretty soon. I need a Schleim juice for the eight months. I need some just Schleim juice. Pocket. Thanks. At GM Hikaru, how do you close the gap between in-game raids? Okay, let's just castle here. Isn't Archimedes Greek? Well, you know, you guys, if you go back about two thousand years, uh, you didn't really have you didn't have cities and countries the way that you do now. I'm pretty sure that's where Archimedes was from, right? No, am I wrong? Archimedes. Yeah, Archimedes was of Sy was from Syracuse. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, he's from Syracuse. No, I, I am right. He was from Syracuse. You guys are acting like like Italy, Greece, and all these countries were like actual countries two thousand years ago. They weren't. Archimedes was American. I don't think so. I mean, I guess I'll just go e five and take on e six here. Archimedes was in the final four. Yeah, exactly. go f4 and build a build a pyramid speaking of ancient civilizations build a pyramid of Giza here uh, I'm gonna go f5 f6 oh Archimedes is from Beaumont Texas he's a streamer there probably is a streamer called Archimedes that would make sense Aristotle built the first Ferris wheel okay thank you <laughs> thank you for that um okay Okay, um, let me try to not lose my mind. I don't know why that was very, very funny for some reason. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go check and I guess for G7. And I just get mate and one on H7. Okay, um, anyway, let's see what he's gonna do here. Uh, besides Bobby Fischer, what player would you have loved to play against that you never got a chance to play against? Um, another player that I never got a chance to play against who I would have loved to play against. Um, let's see, what is D3? Let's play the Miesis opening. But D3 and 2 very solid. 
Um. Let's play C4, maybe. Um, actually, you know who I would have probably liked to play against was, uh, probably Capablanca. I think Capablanca, just because there's so much, I mean, so much mystique around him as a player. I mean, he's just considered, like, the, the greatest genius, sort of, in a way. Um, so probably I would say Capablanca. The reason I would not say Michael Tal is because I feel like Michael Tal, he was a very, um, very aggressive tactical player, but I feel like modern players would probably just refute his tactics pretty, pretty cleanly. Um... So that's that's why I would say probably yeah I would say Jose Raul Capablanca. Yeah. Thank you so much to Alpha Knot for the 17 months. Let's go Queen B3 target diagonals here again right triangle. Speaking of a uh, classic Greek stuff, um, let's just take the rook here on F8. Let's take the knight on D5 and just end the game. Do I think Duda has a chance to be much stronger than he is now? I mean everybody has a chance to improve without a doubt. The rookie one. Please win the candidates. I will do my best, you guys. But um, again, long tournament. Now we get the classic ice skater here to win another game. Can I play the Marshall and Honor Capital? Well, that's another example. Like there, there were some really high quality games. Like that Capablanca Marshall game, the first Marshall uh gambit that was ever played in the spanish i mean that was a really high quality game which is why i would be fascinated to play against someone like capablanca or someone like marshall but i just feel like in terms of michael tal generally it felt it feels like his gambits were very suspicious and i think a lot of players um today's players especially they'd be able to just defend against those attacks um because computers have shown us that like i mean all you have to do is play the best move like an attack is really just not that scary when all is said and done Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that's just that's just my what I would say is I feel like with Michael Tal, you, you see all these great games of his, all these sacks, but I feel like if I actually played against him, it'd be a bit of a letdown. So let's go E4 here. Did I get paid to act in billions? I did. In fact, I got my uh, I got a royal check recently for uh I think it was forty five dollars and thirteen cents. So that was my cut of the uh, profits or whatever it was. So um yeah, I did. Now what again, let's go for the ortho schnapps. Um or it's called the Steiner right now, but it's gonna turn into the ortho schnapps. So he goes D5. And the first time I, I remember the first time I saw this was actually when Forsen showed it to me before he played against Hafu and Pog Champs 2, I think it was. Unfortunately, my opponent doesn't play D5. He goes knight f6. So let's play E5 here. Thank you to Uchiha for the tier one. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go D4 here, and I just take. Um, how much would chess change if computers were able to talk to us? So you're saying if computers were able to like explain the way they play. Um, it would be very interesting. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it would be kind of like when I play chess on Twitch for most of you guys, where you hear what I'm saying, and you're trying to improve, but it doesn't necessarily all make sense. And even as great as players like Magnus and myself are, I suspect that if a computer could explain what it's doing, Magnus and I would still be confused and still very, very lost in terms of what uh in terms of what is going on. No, I'm not trolling. I actually think so. I think that even as, as great as Magnus and I are as players, I think if a computer could explain like the 3700 level thought process, I still think we'd be confused. I don't think we'd be able to like internalize it in some kind of way where it would it would make us like much better. We'd, we'd improve, of course, but I don't think we'd suddenly become like 3100. I don't think we'd suddenly become like that much better. Computer would be like silly human. How do you not understand? I actually think that's pretty true. No, I think it's true because like even now, like e even some of these deep concepts, when we see it, it makes sense. But I don't think that it, even if a computer's like, okay, well, after here you can play like bishop g5, d5 and open up or some some concept that's that's more more like deep, of course. I don't think that we'd be able to we would be able to grasp it. We'd be like, oh, really cool on the in the moment we understand it, but then of course we're not gonna be able to use it in an actual game. They would just say go for the six months. How did I learn chess? Uh, I learned chess because my brother uh, was a national champion when he was very young. He he became very good, and my stepfather also played chess, so I was around it uh, from a very young age, and I just picked it up because of that. If you cannot explain it, you didn't understand it. <laughs> That's also a good point. Yeah, if you can't if you can't understand it, you don't. Uh, yeah, if you can't understand, you can't explain it. You don't understand it at all. Um, yeah. 
Play knight e5 here if he takes. I take with a pawn. I fork the queen of the knight. Why did my brother stop? Because he he basically was a little bit too naturally talented at the game. And he went from basically zero to about about like 19, 2, 1900, 2000. Very, very quickly. He peaked around 2150. Um, but because he was so naturally talented, it came so easily. He never really had to work hard. So when he hit the wall around 2100, he didn't. He wasn't able to break through that wall. And he just stayed there forever. Okay, what can I play here? I'm not going to play a Sicilian, right, in the candidates? I mean, of course I'm not going to play a Sicilian. Um, um, what's a, what's, okay, I'm going to play B6 here. Let's play the Katalimov opening. Let's play Katalimov. B6, Bishop, B7. Let's Fianchito the Bishop. Let's go E6 here. I might play the Sicilian, but I'm probably not going to play the Katalimov variation. So I'm being very, uh, I'm being very, uh, very tricky with my openings. Very, very tricky. I might play it anyway. You never know. Uh, that cannot be how Fianchito is pronounced. Of course, you play Fianchito. It's a Fianchito. You put a bishop on a long diagonal. I could still play the Sicilian. I'm just not going to play the Katalimov, right? Or maybe I will. You never know. Let's go D5 here. Play the Shevetshikov Sicilian next time. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll play it. Maybe I won't. Let's take. And then let's take with the queen. Do I think Fabian is watching? Probably not. I bet Wesley is watching. Maybe not right now, but Wesley, I bet at some point today, will we'll definitely watch the stream. Let's go knight c6, guard the bishop. I just take with the pawn here. I miss American pie. No, Wesley definitely will be watching at some point. But Wesley's not on the cast. No, but I mean, I know Wes. I'm pretty confident that Wesley watches my stream probably at least three days a week, just to guess. But I'm pretty sure he watches it very frequently. Why only Fabiana? Well, it's just that I, I mean, Fabiana and I have to play in the first round of the candidates. So that's the reason we're saying it. That's the reason I'm saying that. I love the Super Smash. Yeah, it's great to see some people actually get the theme. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Smash, but it's good to see some people are getting it. Play as Kirby, right? No, Wesley definitely watches more than once a month. I, I know that for a fact. I mean, in, in, um, in, uh, in, um, in, uh, in Berlin alone, I know Wesley watched my stream on three days when I played played Arena Kings and when I was playing in the RCC. So, yeah. If there was a Canadian, the Canadians would you have to play in the early rounds? No, because of course um, uh, we don't own Canada yet, so it's not the same country, and therefore uh, I I mean we I wouldn't have to play I wouldn't have to play play the Canadian round one. Play knight d4. Uh, maybe I'll go queen c6. Maybe knight f3 next to move. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go queen c6 here. Maybe knight f3 next to him. Maybe rookie two. Uh, just keep going. Am I doing both title Tuesdays? That is my plan. I don't know if I'm going to stream straight through all the way, but that is my plan. Yeah. Just took $5 out of Bezos' pocket. Thanks. Yee yee. All right, now I should have a way to mate him. Let's go. Maybe I'll just go rook f5 here. Knight f3 next move. Need a Braden EM for the two months. Thank you so much to Braden. Wait, we don't own Canada? Um, not yet. Not yet, you guys. Not yet. We'll annex them soon enough. Um, what is what is uh, Moist Star going to play here? Queen e3. I guess I just take the take there. I go check and mate. And next game. I should have a randomizer that chooses the opening. Well, I'm trying to be very tricky. Okay, of course I'm not going to play d4 on move one in the candidates, right? Um, what can I play here? What can I play? Okay, let's stick to the Verisov. It seems like the safest choice for right now. It seems like the safest choice. H6, I guess I'll go Bishop H4. Now, there was a period that I did play the Verisov a lot in 2013. 
Um, and I had actually quite a bit of success with it. What about the Jobava London? Um, are you joking when you say you won't play D4? You never know, you guys. I'm always 100% serious about everything, including the fact that we're going to own Canada pretty soon. All right. Um, maybe I'll go Knight F3. Um, maybe I'll just go G4. Did I see the news about New York? I did see it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. All right. How do I know all these insane openings? Uh, generally, you like you don't necessarily play all these openings. Oh, I'm going to go for a tricky trick here with A3. There's a free pawn. It's just free. Just eat it. And bye-bye, queen. His queen just got trapped here. He's no squares. Yeah, I mean, there were like five people shot, and there were like bombs or things like... I mean, yeah, it's, it, bring, it's, it brings back shades, of course, September 11th, but yeah, it's crazy. What news you live in NY? Apparently, like in Brooklyn, there was a shooting in the subway on the R line. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's take the queen. Scotch Gambit or Riot? I don't know. I mean, I might want to play Scotch Gambit. And of course, if I want to play Scotch Gambit, why should I really give chat 500 subs when I can just keep it as a surprise? Maybe let my baby freeze for 13 months. Let's go D5 here. Oops, there goes the rook. Uh, what's this? He Hikarnakamura pronounced Hikarnakamura chesscom articles are crazy sometimes. Oh, is there an article on how to pronounce my name? That's kind of bizarro. Go here and take. Take the bishop. When I play low ratings, my rating is coming up. What happens if 500 subs are gifted? Uh, I mean, I'll get 500. Um, what's a new opening? I can play the Amari Stoudemire. Let's let's play the Amari Stoudemire opening with Knight H3. It's called the Amar opening. I don't know why. Okay, let's go here and Knight F2 here. Can I play Danish Gambit? Of course. I think I played Danish in the very first game of the speed run, but I will play more. How do you even mispronounce what? Mispronounce what? The C3 D4. Do I do tests when you're preparing to measure memory? Um, sometimes. Place F6. Let's develop the bishop. Develop the knights. Build a big white center here. Pretty good stuff. How is my name pronounced in Japanese? Well, it'd be Hikaru. That's what it would be. But, well, but you know, I'm here in America. I grew up in America, and I speak American as my as my main language, so I'm all about that American pronunciation of every, of every word. All right, I can play d5, maybe f4 next, but looking pretty good. Yay! A four, queen h5 ideas here. We need a Thargons for the eight months. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Whoa, thank you to Shaggy for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Shaggy, appreciate it. Thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Why is memory important in chess? Because generally it's like, remembering games or certain like pawn structures like where the pawns are placed and other things it helps for uh for recalling it because then then intuitively you sort of have the sense that certain things are placed correctly or incorrectly play a4 here i can take with the bishop take the bishop other than what was recorded you get to play any other cast members from billions no i mean I, it was the, the only thing was, was i the only cast members that i had time to really like hang around and talk to were um were uh asia kate dylan and uh mike berbiglia because they, they were basically i was there for like six hours of filming and the only scene i did was with them is it just me or is the price wait is the are the pineapple shoes going up wait a second first of all let me check finance see if the dollars changed or something the market's absolutely killing it today absolutely crushing it um where was I going though? I was going to check something. Um, let's go here. Okay. Yeah. So market is up, which probably means the shoe should be, the price should be down, right? Because that means the U S dollar is probably going up if the markets are up. Um, oh no, the price is back to 433. No, it's just back to the regular price of 433. Never mind. Okay. It's just 433 again. Thank you to the Jimmy Butler. Okay. Let's, oops. Didn't mean to do that. What was that? Um, okay. I just take the night on G8, I guess. I can take, I can make a check on E6 next move. 
If someone offered you to play a scene or two in a popular movie or series, would you take it? Maybe, depends. Sniping the 4X on the shoes, something like that, yeah. All right. Okay, it goes 97. Let's play Queen D5 here. Thank you so much to Jimmy Butler for an additional 300 bit. Thank you so much. Is your name Hikaru? You named yourself. Hikaru is my name, yeah. The real Jimmy Butler, yeah. I mean, uh, my brother's not a GM. He is a master level. He's about 2200, yeah. Jimmy Butler watched Sicaro. I mean, hey, he could. It wouldn't shock me, actually. I mean, there, there's so many sports people who are who are randomly on Twitch. Like, who is that guy? There's like that that guy who always watches train wrecks. What's what's his name? The the French dude. Um, I forget his name. There, there's like one of the, the he's like on Utah. He's the Utah Jazz, I think. I forget who it is, but I, it's Rudy, right? Rudy, uh, Rudy Gobert. What's it? Rudy something. Gobert, yeah, Rudy Gobert, yeah. So I'm saying like it wouldn't actually be that it wouldn't actually be that shocking. I need a hater rate for the 14. Okay, now I just go check and mate on E7. Yeah, Juju also no <laughs> Rudy Giuliani, no. Uh no, not Rudy Giuliani. Although I think when I played I played a tournament in New York. Uh, it's called the what was it called? I think it was called the Mayor's. Was it called the Mayor's Cup or something? I think it was called the Mayor's Cup. It was a a Norm turn when I was in I am in New York City. I think actually Rudy did make the uh, he made the he made the opening move in in like the first round game that I played. I think. Um. So yeah. All right. Let's do like a couple more games. Maybe three more games. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani. That turn was very funny too because actually. I don't remember where we play. I think it was in Queens, the, the, the Norm tournament. And um, at every day, like an hour into the game, wherever we were playing, the, the ice cream truck would come by, would come by. So there was always for like 10 to 15 minutes, you would hear the ice cream, you would hear this ice cream truck and, and that music um, nonstop. So it was kind of distracting. Oh, I guess I didn't make a move quick enough. Let's go again. Okay, let's play. Um, can we play the Icelandic Gambit? Yeah, let's let's play the uh this is this is wait, it's called the Banky Gambit? I thought this was the Icelandic Gambit. Maybe I'm wrong. Tesla.com says the Banky Gambit. That doesn't sound right. B-O-E-H-N-K-E. I, I don't know if that's right. Okay, I'm just gonna take the uh take the rook on A1. Oh, Knight F6 versus Icelandic. Okay, so I, I improved upon the Icelandic Gambit. Speaking of Iceland, I probably will take a look at the games at some point being played there. How many gambits are there? I don't know. Some of these gambit names are a little bit suspicious, but but yes. Okay, it goes knight a3. I mean, I guess I go here in castles and knight f6. It's looking pretty good for me. Um, let's just castle here. Maybe knight f6, knight g4. Oh, there's a free knight. Why didn't I take it? All right, let's go uh, knight g4, maybe queen f5 next move. You would have gone and gotten ice cream. It's like, uh, what? what is, let me see. Can I find the song? Is it this, is this, is it this song? Let me see, is it this one? Yeah, so basically anyway you guys so that that was the um that that was basically every day for like 15 minutes during the um during the tournament that i was playing um let me put regular music back on for like 15 minutes there was always the ice cream truck outside so it was very very distracting trying to play in the tournament time to run into the street without looking both ways yeah yeah that song is racist wait what wait why is that song racist it's not racist. Is it? I don't know. Huh? What?
I mean, everything is racist nowadays. I, I get, I guess. What? <laughs> Sega the Queen of Go 94. Oh, you have to look up its origin and it's racist. Okay, thank you. Go G4 here. Thank you. Let's go Knight F3 and play H5 here. Ah, welcome to the world we live in, everybody. Welcome to the world we live in. Okay, I just go checkmate here. Let's do one more game. Ugh, unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna play, uh, I'm obviously not gonna play, am I gonna play the Albin? I, or maybe I'll play, no, but this is Chagorn, which I, um, okay, so. Let's play this, I don't, I don't know if this is a Gambit, a proper Gambit or not, but let's just do it. There's no name, apparently. Thank you to give me more for the 22 months. Let's go Bishop G4. This is almost like an England Gambit, though, almost. Knight G7, maybe A6. So, uh, takes a 95. Let's go bishop d6, maybe c6, next move. I guess I just castle here. The origin of the ice cream truck song is worth looking up. I'm not gonna look that up, you guys. I mean, I'm just not going to. A title Tuesday is in 18 minutes. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to. Like, I have my limits, too, of what I'm willing to, like, put up with. Let's go bishop e5 here. Uh, I guess I'll go back and maybe play queen a5 next move. Take the knight here. Maybe I can take a2. Maybe bishop e5 next move. Uh, I guess I go bishop e5, create a nice wooden shield. The knight guards, the bishop b2 is also under attack here. Um, I guess I just take with the bishop. I can just take a3, I guess, and should be, should just be winning pretty soon. Can I speak Singhalese? No, I can't. Uh, Gukesh lost a plus five position against Pragnananta. Really? Let's go check in Bishop B2, I guess. Would I do meme reactions? Maybe. Although. All right. So we do get to our rating up to 740. We start off pretty smooth. 29 and zero, you guys. Um, so I'm going to take a break. I'll use the restroom quickly. And then when we come back. I think I'll maybe do Chessel or a couple of those things because we do have... Um